What is up everybody, Ben Johnson here, and today I am super excited because we're gonna be taking a look at one of my favorite video editing techniques, speed ramping. So today we're going to be talking about speed ramping. Speed ramping, or time remapping, is the art of slowing down or speeding up your footage in order to produce creative and dynamic effects. Speed ramping really originated in skateboard culture, and videographers would use this technique to really accentuate the difficulty of tricks that were being done by skateboarders. Nowadays this technique is used in a variety of ways all of which create a very powerful, dynamic, and energetic effect on videos. So let's dive in and take a look at three ways that you can use speed ramping. All right, we are here in Final Cut Pro and we've got this nice clip of my wife watering some lavender. This was shot in 120 frames a second on my Sony a7 III. I did this so that we had a lot of room to slow it down and play around with the footage. So in order to slow this down, we are going to select the clip and hit Command R. This is going to bring up our retime bar. From here, go ahead and select the little drop down arrow next to the 100% sign. Then select Custom. From here, choose Automatic. This will make the clip automatically stretch to the frame rate timing that it was shot in. And ultimately, this will give you the smoothest results for slow motion. Next, we're going to decide where we want our clip to begin ramping up in speed. Put your playhead over the start point and type Shift B. This will create a cut in your retime bar. Next, you're going to select the point in which you want your speed up to stop. Go ahead and find this with your playhead and then click Shift B again. Now select the portion you just created between the two cuts and choose a new timing of 20 times fast. In doing this, Final Cut adds in speed ramping automatically and this is indicated by these gray bars. You can now adjust all of this to your liking. If you find that 20x is just too fast, you can simply select a little bit slower of a speed. If you find that 20x is actually a little too slow, simply select custom and type a higher value. Another great way to use speed ramping is to create a transition between two different clips. For this example, I have one shot where my wife Michaela is picking up the watering can. I also have a secondary shot where she is watering the lavender. My goal here is to use speed ramping to seamlessly blend these two shots together. To get started on this, go ahead and choose automatic speed for both clips. Next, we are going to speed up the end of the first clip and the beginning of the second clip. Find the point on the first clip that you would like the transition to start speeding up. Go ahead and hit Shift B in order to make your cut on the retime bar. Then select a faster speed. Now go to the beginning of the second clip and find the point in which you would like the speed up to end. Hit Shift B and change the beginning of this clip to a faster speed. Now just put the two clips next to each other and watch it back. Boom, you have just created a speed ramp transition. Speed ramping is a great way to add emotion, energy, and dynamics to your shot. The best use of this is to accentuate what you would like your viewer to focus on. For this example, we will use another shot of the lavender being watered. We'll start by slowing down the clip to automatic speed. We will then speed up the beginning and ending of the clip. When we play it back, the act of pouring the water is really slowed down and accentuated so that the viewer can take it all in. A tip to make your speed ramping feel more authentic and real is to implement the use of sound effects. Take a look at our transition clip. Here it is with no sound. Now we will simply add in a little bit of ambience, a whoosh over the transitions, and a little bit of a drip sound for the watering can. Oh my 
gosh, sound effects add so much value to your clip. Comment below if a sound effects tutorial is something that you would be interested in. All right, everybody, that is going to about wrap up this video. I hope that you found this helpful. If this is a technique that you are starting to implement in your videos, let me know in the comments below. I would love to check them out. Before you guys leave, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and as always, stay creative. Peace.